A test of strength. This folktale originates from the Nepongwe tribe near Libreville in Gabon. Gabon is a country in Central Africa near both Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The tale reflects the seriousness with which the tribe's people consider the question of equality and strength, intelligence, and other powers. And for this tale, they use the characters of tortoise, elephant, and hippopotamus. At one time, Leopard was the most powerful of all of the beasts, and therefore he was accorded the position of king of the animals. When he died, however, his children were too young to take his place, and Tortoise, who might have had a hand in Leopard's death, claimed to be among the most powerful of the animals. Every day Tortoise boasted, Elephant, Hippopotamus, and I are equal in power, so much so that we eat together at the same table. The people went to Elephant and Hippopotamus and told them what Tortoise said. Both animals laughed at Tortoise's foolishness. Don't pay attention to him, they said. He can only be pitied or despised for his foolish boasts. One day, Elephant and Hippopotamus came upon each other walking in the forest. Hippopotamus asked, Yo, man, have you heard what those foolish boasts that Tortoise has been making, saying that he is as powerful as us? Elephant answered, Yes, I have heard what he has said, but I do not take it seriously. After all, I am Elephant. I am the biggest of the animals. In fact, my foot is as big as a tortoise's whole body. How foolish for him to say that he is as powerful as I. Still, I have not taken upon myself to speak on this matter, for I have not heard Tortoise himself say these things. Hippopotamus nodded. Yeah, man, I'm following the same path. I'll say nothing until Tortoise says these things to me. Then, he better watch out. Soon, another animal, who overheard Elephant and Hippopotamus, happened to meet Tortoise. This animal informed Tortoise of what he had heard. They were threatening you. They said that they would do nothing until they heard you speak the words yourself. Then you will be in trouble. In the meantime, though, they said that you are foolish and contemptuous. So, said Tortoise, they think that I am foolish and contemptuous, do they? He thought for a moment. We shall see what we shall see. Tortoise went to his wife and got his coat to cover his body. Then he went to the forest. There he found Elephant lying beneath a tree. Elephant's trunk was so long that he could not see the end of it. Elephant's ears were as big as a hut. Elephant's feet were indeed larger than Tortoise's entire body. Nevertheless, Tortoise called out to Elephant, Muera! I am here! Why don't you stand up to greet me? Elephant looked at Tortoise. Slowly he stood up. With great indignation he asked, Who are you calling Muara, Tortoise? I am calling you Muara, Tortoise replied. Are we not chums, Elephant? Elephant grew increasingly angry. I have been told that you are making certain boasts, Tortoise. Is it true that you have in fact been making these boasts? Don't get so angry, replied Tortoise. I did address you as Mara, but why should that cause you to berate me? Just because you are a huge mound of meat and I am small, you think that you are more powerful and better than I am. Let us put this delusion of yours to a test. Tomorrow morning, we shall engage in a tug-of-war contest. Why? I can smash you like a yam under my foot. So what do you have to lose? You should at least be willing to engage in a contest. Elephant was unhappy with the situation that was presented to him, but finally he consented to the test. Okay. Good, said Tortoise. And if one of us pulls the other over in the contest, he shall be considered the greater of the two. If neither proves stronger, then we are Moira. Wait here while I go and find a vine for us to use. Tortoise walked off into the forest to find a very long vine. When he came back, he gave one end of it to Elephant. This is your end. Tomorrow we will have our tug of war, and each of us will continue, not stopping to eat or sleep, until one or the other is triumphant, or the vine breaks. 
tortoise went back into the forest. He continued walking until he came to Hippopotamus's town, where he hid the end of the vine. He then went to find Hippopotamus, who was bathing in the river. Tortoise called to him, I am here, Moira. Come ashore and talk to me. Hippopotamus, bellowing in his anger, charged ashore. Who do you call Moira? Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Who do I call Moira? replied Tortoise. I am calling you Moira. After all, we are equals. Let us put this to a test. Tomorrow morning, we shall engage in a tug-of-war contest. Why should I do that? I can crush you like a yam underneath my foot. So what do you have to lose? You should at least be willing to engage in a contest. Like Elephant, Hippopotamus was unhappy with the situation that was presented to him. But finally, he consented to the test. All right, man. Good, said Tortoise. And if one of us pulls the other over in the contest, he shall be considered the greater of the two. If neither proves stronger, then we are Moira. Wait here while I go and find a vine for us to use. Tortoise walked off into the forest to find a very long vine. When he came back, he gave one end of it to Hippopotamus. This is your end. Tomorrow we will have our tug of war, and each of us will continue, not stopping to eat or sleep until one or the other is triumphant, or the vine breaks. That evening, both Elephant and Hippopotamus went into the forest to gather leaves for magic, to make them even stronger than they were already. That night, both slept soundly. The next morning, Tortoise walked back into the forest, to the middle of the vine, where he had made a mark on the ground. Then he shook the vine, first toward one end, and then toward the other. When Elephant saw the end of the vine shake, he grabbed it, as an Hippopotamus on the other end of the vine. As the old people say, Orindi went back and forth. Elephant and Hippopotamus pulled against one another, first Elephant moving Hippopotamus, and then Hippopotamus moving Elephant. While Elephant and Hippopotamus continued to pull against one another, Tortoise smiled at his plan. <laughs> After a time, the vine was stretched taut between Elephant and Hippopotamus, and Tortoise laughed to see it quiver from their exertions. <laughs> Nothing else moved. Soon, Tortoise left the vine to seek his usual lunch of mushrooms. He ate and drank his fill until he could hold no more. Then he went home to sleep. Late in the afternoon, Tortoise arose to find out what was happening in the tug of war. When he reached the midpoint of the vine, it was still stretched taut, and it quivered from the efforts of elephant and hippopotamus. Occasionally, one of the huge animals drew the other toward himself slightly, only to be drawn back the other way in return. In spite of these momentary advantages, neither animal could overpower the other. Finally, Tortoise became tired of the game. He pulled out a knife and cut the vine in half. At the two opposite ends, Elephant and Hippopotamus fell backward with the sudden release of the tension and slammed into the ground with a great crashing noise. <laughs> ah, said Tortoise, that's that. Now I will visit Elephant with this end of the broken vine, and tomorrow I will visit Hippopotamus with the other end. Tortoise followed the vine to its end, where he found the sad Elephant soaking his legs in juju water. Moira, exclaimed Tortoise, what do you think now? Is it not true that we are Moira? Elephant nodded. Yes, Tortoise, I had no idea how strong you were. Indeed, when the vine broke, I fell so hard that I hurt my leg. We are truly equal. It seems that strength does not come from a large body alone. Your body is small, so I was contemptuous of you. But it turns out we are equally as strong. Tortoise and Elephant sat down and ate a snack in the celebration of Tortoise's great victory. After they played together as Moira for a, a time, Tortoise went home to his town, and Elephant was fooled. The next morning, he picked up the other end of the broken vine and went to Hippopotamus's town. There, he found Hippopotamus looking sad and rubbing his head. Moira! Tortoise exclaimed. 
What do you think now? Is it not true that we are Moira? Hippopotamus nodded. Man, it was a great contest. For a long time, I could not beat you, and you couldn't beat me. Indeed, when the vine broke, I fell so hard that I hurt my head. It hurt real bad. We are truly equal. It seems that strength does not come from a large body alone. Your body is small, so I was contemptuous of you. But it turns out we are equally as strong, yo. Tortoise and Elephant sat down and ate a snack to celebrate Tortoise's victory. After they played together as Moira for a time, Tortoise went home to his town. From that day on, whenever Tortoise, Elephant, Hippopotamus, and other animals of great strength meet for a discussion, the three Moira sit together on the highest stools, for they are truly equal.